Pakistan defended a score of 295-9 against Zimbabwe in their second lead encounter at Pochfstrum to make it a second consecutive win in as many games. Amir Ali struck the first blow after a fluent partnership between the Zimbabwe openers, who struck the new ball crisply. Milton Shamba joined Madhav at the crease, and struck a half-century to, and at 186 to do, with Captain Myers and Shamba at the crease, it looked like Zimbabwe would cause an upset. However, the wicket of Myers caused a collapse of five wickets for 47 runs, and despite the best efforts of wicketkeeper Dane Schadendorf, Zimbabwe fell comfortably short of the target by 38 runs. After the early wicket of Hader Ali, Shazad and Munir put together a stand of 47. However, the fall of Shazad also brought about the wicket of Nitz and Pakistan found themselves precariously placed at 74-3. It was then that Mohamed Haris joined Munir at the crease and put together 65 runs for the fourth wicket. Despite the fall of Munir, Haris continued to entertain on his way to an aggressive 5-2 ball 81. Kasim Akram supported him ably with a swift 50, and took charge. However, after his fall, Haris decided to play for survival and was only dismissed at the 48 over mark as wickets continued to fall around him. The final wicket pair managed to survive nine balls to score 14, lifting Pakistan's score to 295-9 to nine in 50 overs. After this win, Pakistan remained at the second position despite two wins due to Bangladesh's superior net run rate, whereas Zimbabwe are third despite two losses in two games, courtesy Scotland's inferior net run rate.